So, uh, well, hello and welcome to another episode of In the Valley. I'm your host, Christian, and today we have Jet Jaguar on the fucking stage. All right, how you guys doing? Good, doing, I doing. doing. Good, I thought everybody was going to join me in on that, but I guess it's just me looking like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, we're doing all right. All right, cool. What you got? You guys start us off with the first song. All right, this first song is called The Hook. <laughs> Jet Jaguar, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Right. Did you guys, did you guys see my stick fly out of my hand? <laughs> Where'd it go? I don't know. Oh shit, it's out there somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's on but, um, it flew uh, to another on. dimension. We right? warned you. All right, um, let's talk about your origins. How'd you guys start? Uh, where'd you guys begin? You know that that all that jazz. Oh man, that's like that's like three degrees of everybody. Yeah. I mean, everyone here has been connected some way or another. You know. I mean, I think. Lewis is the one that kind of brought us all together. I don't know you want to. Uh, yeah, it was uh, just me. I was trying to just start something new, get back out into the scene. And then uh, uh, Tony was just like, let's do it, let's do it. He wouldn't get off my back. And then, uh, yeah, we got uh, together. We got John right off the bat. And then uh, later on, we had Billy join us because we needed a little bit more bass in our lives. True. <laughs> Yeah. Nice, yeah. The, the best part about it is we all consisted of different groups originally. Uh, Lewis and Billy were in a band prior. John and uh, Lewis were in a band prior. Me and Lewis were in a band prior. So it kind of like mixed and matched. Kind Fucking of. sluts. So you guys, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys like we're pretty much like in in tune with each other. Like you guys can jump around and try many different projects. Yeah. By the time we got together, we had already been jamming with each other. Yeah, I'm already and tired of them. Doing more than jamming, yep. too. Fucking viejitos and shit. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, that's how it got together. All right, cool. Yes. Uh, 
guests can move on to the next song. All right. Thank you for that. For giving us the permission to move on to the next song. <laughs> <laughs> This next song is called Brew. One, two, one, two, three, four. Let's talk about your influences, uh, what you got. Um, the last time I heard your SoundCloud, I figured that, uh, what you got, you guys were more of a surf rock kind of band. I think I was listening to the Graveyard song or the one I that... I at the Graveyard. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, what kind, of, what kind of influences drives you to make, uh, you know, th these songs? Yeah, uh, we'll go around the room with this one because we're all, like, crazy and stuff. Like, we're all just mixed up. Well, not crazy, literally. Like, we don't belong in a loony bin or anything. But uh, or we do. I'm, in, I'm in the back wearing a mask. I do. Yeah. <laughs> None of us are crazy. I swear. We're making plans about going on a satanic ritual later, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, but we're not crazy. We're not crazy. But <laughs> anyways. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I, I, me, I'm, uh, me and Billy are more like into oldies. I like uh, Muse, which is not oldies, but <laughs> <laughs> I like Muse, Guns N' Roses, uh, The Ventures, and a Snoop Dogg, and. Um, <laughs> Okay, yeah, man, I like a little bit of it all. <laughs> Go ahead, Billy. <laughs> uh, Joe Meek, producer in the 60s. That's mostly what I'm into. And I'm, I'm just basically a punk. I, I love punk music.
music, Rob, Tough Energy. Uh, that's what I like to bring to the band, I guess. Yeah, mine's mostly metal influence. All my prior bands are all metal based, thrash metal, death metal, black metal. So that's kind of where it starts for me. So you add that together and you kind of get a weird Dead Jaguar sound, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that weird sound. But you guys, like like you said earlier, you guys have been jamming out for so long. At this point, like, all your influences just pretty much just, like, blend together just yeah. to make something. Yeah. I mean, they overlap at some points, too. There's a, I mean, Kiss is a big one for all of us. Like, I guess that overlaps. One of the big ones that we kind of, I guess, take a lot of influence from. That's, a, I guess, as a group thing. <laughs> yeah, we love Kiss. Oh, yeah, that explains the jackets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nice. that's a whole different. Yeah, yeah huh? I was going to leave the question, for the, the jacket question for, for, like, later, but um, I guess now that we're on the topic. Oops, the uh, jackets. <laughs> Which jackets? Uh, what you call it? Uh, how did the jackets come on? This is, like, pretty much, like, the iconic uh, Jet Jaguar stuff. Where did uh, they to, come from? To be honest, I don't really know. One day, me and Lewis were hanging out at my house, and Lewis was showing me some cool music videos and stuff, and in the video of this uh, group of, like, like a gang of cats, I guess they were. Uh, they were wearing like matching jackets type thing. And it looked really cool. And I mean, the animation to the video itself was awesome. So that kind of helped. And I don't know, Lewis was like, dude, let's get jackets and customize them on our own. Kind of stand out and do whatever. And we're like, we're down. So we kind of all got it. And as you can see, all of our jackets kind of have our own. Uh, in se- in uh, Insomnia or whatever. Insom- yeah. The AI, that thing. Yeah. Stuff we like. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, nice. Very cool. I guess. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> It adds character. It adds a uh, personality to <laughs> yeah. the band. Definitely, oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We we didn't we didn't take into account how hot it is to play in them though. Yeah. That's definitely. <laughs> we're moving on to I believe vests. Yeah, we're yeah. It's yeah. well, it's supposed to be a surprise, but oh, surprise. we're moving on to vest surprise. Just <laughs> <laughs> <Trust laughs> vest, no t-shirts. Yeah, it's getting hot out there on summertime. Yeah. <laughs> All right then, you guys can move on to the next one. Next song.
very cool. Let's see. Oh, shit, is this too much shoot back? All right, that was kidding. pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> thank you for making it fun. Uh, let's see. Let's move on and talk about your writing influences. I mean, uh, you know, how does it how does it work with you guys? Do you is it pretty much like a monarchy, or do you guys have like a democracy kind of thing where everyone puts in on the song, like um, you know, they make the song? Or? More of a communist. Yeah, <laughs> there's no voting involved here. Uh, it's kind of a mix. Uh, depends who brings what to the table. John will bring us a riff and show it, and we'll like it. We'll play it. We'll jam it along. Kind of go from there. Or Lewis will bring one, or Billy. Uh, I think I'm the only one who doesn't write riffs because I can't play guitar. <laughs> so I can just beat on stuff and make a lot of noise, but I don't think it's going to help. <laughs> but I, I would say main, mostly, I, I'd probably say it's Lewis who's done most of the writing. Yeah, but we, we all come up with just stuff, and then we just mold it together as we go along and come up with different ideas. Mm -hmm. Like um, a couple of songs, John starts with a riff, and then we just add on from there. Billy has his own songs that he does and sings, which is actually coming up next. And uh, yeah, it's just... In, uh, in Espanol. En español. Yeah. Sí. Yeah, you guys are going to need captions. La canción es muy buena. Put on the set. <laughs> yeah, put on your subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, what makes a, uh, at least, uh, we, yeah, what makes a Jet Jaguar song? What makes it like, yeah, you got, like, the authentic Jet Jaguar sound or the... When we first that. started, we just wanted to do more, like, um, well, kind of indie, but fast stuff we didn't we, we love indie music too but like a lot of it's slow and mellow and it was boring to me yeah. so i wanted to do something kind of in the same style but just faster and uh because of that we kind of got ourselves into a pickle because now we don't have any slow songs <laughs> so we're not getting invited to play weddings and stuff because everything's just so fast yeah <laughs> I, I would say that uh we our goal was to just make something that anybody can enjoy someone who's into Indie, someone who's into ska, someone who's into metal, someone's into punk, someone's into oldies. If they hear it, they're going to kind of have an ear for it and they'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. And just overall broad sound that people can just enjoy. We didn't want to be mm. stuck to one specific style or label. Oh, okay. That's kind of how you'll hear like a Spanish song. We have like a yeah. Spanish influence song now. So it kind of, it ranges. Yeah, you guys jump around from different different uh different music or at least different uh yeah. different, different sounds yeah yeah i guess what makes it a jet jaguar sound is that it's not limited it's uh we kind of just all include our own influences yeah that's definitely oh. true <laughs> <laughs> all right sounds good uh i guess before we close it off uh, i i think i forgot to mention that every uh, like uh, what you call it introducing everyone in the band oh yeah, I, yeah. i've been forgetting that now for a couple shows <laughs> i think <laughs> Yeah. My name is Lewis. I'm the lead singer and guitar player. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Billy Hogan, bass. Um, John, guitar. And Tony, drums, convict number A71244444441. Uh, social? Social? Oh, social is uh, 123472. Oh, that's my phone number. <laughs> All right, cool. You can contact him if you want. I don't know if it's a dud, if it's a dud or not, but <laughs> there it is. Good luck figuring out. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. All right then. I guess that pretty much concludes the show. Yeah. Uh, what you got? This has been uh, you know, this has been. Oh shit! I already forgot what it in was. In the valley. Yeah, in the valley. There, there we go. go. This has been in the valley. <laughs> it's been live. Uh, I've been your host. Uh, what you got? Uh, sponsored by Sound right. Studios. Hello. We haven't forgot you. I forgot to mention you in the in the beginning of the show. Before we go, I want to thank you guys, man. We want to thank, thank In the you. Valley and all you cool guys, man. It's very fun doing this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming on to the show. Yeah, man. And, uh, you know, you guys can close us off with the last song. It's all right. This next piece. song is called Todo Mi Amor. It's sang by our good, good bass player, Billy.
Thank you guys. We are Judge Jaguar. <laughs>